sorry first of all it's dark and there's nothing i can really do about that but it is an eventful day so far it's early morning well it's not early it's only 9 20. say good morning Morning. <laughs> uh, me and baby Nala are kind of running late a little bit. Uh, we are about to get ready to go to lactation. So I was going to have David come, but I realized like there's going to be boobs. and it's gonna be weird. Yeah, he can't go. So. <laughs> so me and baby Nala are getting ready. She has the hiccups right now, so he's burping her. This is going to be the first time I'm going to be out by myself with her. And it's so nerve wracking. Why you look so dead? <laughs> been a long night but anyway i need to get her in the car seat so let's get to it oh lord terribleness let's get her hopefully her hip up to not as bad anymore i ain't had no breakfast nothing little mama Bye. look at her look at her <laughs> her uh, belly button thing fell off yesterday so yeah, look at her. She's drowning in this shirt. Uh, or the onesie. Look at her looking all cozy. And her baby Nala or baby Isaac uh, canopy. I'm so sorry you got the hiccups, baby. I bought this from Walmart the other day, and I love this thing. I don't even know what it's called, but it cuddles them. I'm so sorry you got the hiccups, and I can't help you. Hiccups suck. I know. These are like the mitten things. Like, she's still so small, she still can't fit her newborn. So, we're running late, so, and I have to get something to eat. So, hopefully, I can make it there in time. Yeah. This is so nerve-wracking. Oh no, my baby. This is my first time actually driving out with her by myself in the car. I know I just said that, but. <laughs> and then now it's a bunch of trial and error because I'm trying to get these mirrors to be in the right position. And now I did, I can't have the canopy over or closing her um, car seat because then I can't see her to make sure that everything is fine. But because of that, we don't have any tint on this car. And now the sun, it keeps hitting her face. And I really don't like that. So I don't know if you guys can tell. Hold on. Like if you. Like it's not right now. But. When I hit certain corners, it is. And, and that can make her really hot. So we need to figure out that. We really do. So I'm back. Um, I'm so proud of myself that I was able to pump last night. At 1.30 in the morning, I pumped about six ounces. It wasn't a lot for my left breast because my left breast only pumped an ounce and a half. And the other one pumped about four and a half. But I'm trying to get my left boob to catch up to my right one because when she was born, I always made her latch on my right side because that is my most dominant side. So it was just more comfortable to tolerate the pain on my right side. But because of that, I produce more milk on my right side than I do on my left side. So I have moments where my left breast is trying to catch up but I've been slacking on the pumping lately so I noticed that for one I'm not drinking enough water so I need to I try my best to try to drink a cup of water before I pump but I haven't been doing that lately or the last like couple days so I need to get my life together I really want to go to see lactation because I really want that help because it still hurts it still hurts and no matter how much I smash her on my boot, it feels like it never feels good. Alright you guys, so sorry it's been a couple of hours since I last uh, uh, added you guys in on what's going on. So I did go see the lactation specialist and they're pretty cool actually. But I got in there and it was just like a 
I ain't gonna say a bunch, but it was like women in there with their boobs, <laughs> boobs out, feeding babies, and you had two specialists walking around with gloves on and stuff and kind of like grabbing boobs, helping them out, helping people get their latch and so on and so forth. So I go in, I sign the paperwork, they address me, we fill out some paperwork, and then they ask me what all my concerns was. I'm telling you this because I want you to know what to expect if you are going to see a lactation specialist. Now, it's probably not always with this format, but this is what happened when I went. So, after I sat down, they kind of like sat down next to me and was like, you know, what's going on? What's my concerns? I told them what my concerns are, which is it hurt. So, after that, she said that she wanted to weigh her and then do an examination of her mouth to see if she had like some type of lip or tongue tied or whatever. So, she pretty much put on some gloves, had her suck on her finger and she examined underneath the gums and on top of the gum line and all we found out that she did in fact have a tongue tie she had me show her how i breastfeed so she latched her on and then she asked me like how much does it hurt when she's latched and i told her it was like a seven so we found out because she has the tongue tie that what ended up happening is that she gets on really good with the boob but she generally slips off because she can't extend her tongue out her mouth. She has like a milk stain on her tongue, but only in the back. They said that um, milk stain is a symptom of thrush, but uh, if it's only in the back of the tongue, it's probably due to something wrong with her mouth. And that's what it is. So she ended up giving me a nipple shield and like open up a pack, spraying my milk on the nipple shield, putting it on there properly, had her feed, and I tell you, that was a trillion times better, better than any feeding we have ever had. So now we gotta look into seeing a pediatric dentist to actually look into getting the tongue tie fixed. Good afternoon everyone. I am coming to you live and crusty, but I am about to go up the street to look at some future houses potentially. I figured that since we're gonna be looking at houses, the best way to deal with traveling with Nala is carrying her with the baby carrier. If you remember my baby shower haul video, I had got a baby carrier, I actually got two of them. And one of them I can't take back for sure, so we're gonna try that one, which is the Amazon one. It's called a Cuddle Cuddle Baby, and it has some instructions on how to put it together, so we're just gonna try to figure it out. While I'm trying to get my life together, just to let you know, Nala is three weeks old and one day. So this is the carrier, I took it out this box. <laughs> And this is what it looks like. It looks like a giant cloth already, which is making me really nervous. The first steps it says, center the baby wrap in front of your tummy. How do I know what the center is? Oh Lord, oh Lord. This is a giant cloth. It says, center the wrap in front of your tummy. Oh, it gets longer. Okay, center the wrap in front of your tummy make an x on your back bringing the ends over your shoulders to your front okay maybe it's like this i know the baby struggle <laughs> kind of eat and hold the baby and cook and all that oh yeah especially when she started doing stuff because she don't cry yet and when she start to this is gonna be important. I think. Is that an X? I think it's an X. Is it an X? Mm-hmm. All right. Then it says tuck both ends underneath the belt section, making another X. First of all, they should have pictures with this. I think this is what they're saying. How do people supposed to feel safe about their child with no pictures? Okay, maybe they go here. I'm <laughs> assuming tie 
the end either on your side or to your front with the double knot. It's already time to tie stuff. Bruh, let me just make sure I'm at this point. Does that look? Mm -hmm. Let me watch a Bailey rap video. side we have on the bottom of our X here. So if you look at this little X, see my left side is on the bottom and we're going to have her put in that pocket first. It says slide her in the pocket on the bottom. This is the pocket that I need to get her in. So look, she looks good too. Okay, let's put her up here. Slide her in the pocket. Then wrap her in the pocket. Okay, let's see where your little hands at. Slide this little pocket over her booty and legs, and then again up the back. Okay. Keep in mind it's completely it's normal for babies to toss around a little bit and act a little uncomfortable when you're putting them into the wrap. So I think I feel that here. Yep. Gonna pull that up over the back, just like this. This Is gives her nice down? support. And you can pull the bottom down, and you're going to be walking around. Maybe you don't want to oh, have man, your hands uh, loosen this a little bit. What I like to do is just kind of, you know, bounce them in and tuck the pocket over, and that kind of gives you really good hands-free support. It makes them feel a little bit more snuggled, and it's very, very comfortable, very secure. So this is what it's looking like. I know this part not quite right, but it is tight. It's not going anywhere, so I kind of unflipped it. It's like, how do you know if you're squishing her or not? She looks pretty normal. She's hanging out. You see her? She looked like she actually want to eat. Eat my. <laughs> <laughs> trying to eat, so let me take her out. That is my baby. My itty bitty little potato. <laughs> Walk in, and it's all the way back there. Sorry guys, now we're focused. Big bathroom. Baby ring set up for the next baby, of course. And on this side, there's a bathroom. It's like a half bathroom with a linen closet over there. And it goes all the way back. Here, the stairs. We could have our dining set here. Very nice family room. Kitchen. <laughs> cool. Master, of course. Walk in here. This is beautiful. Especially the floor and the floor makes this house. Kitchen is not the biggest kitchen, but it doesn't need to be big. Still looks good without it being big. Another sliding door, bigger sliding door, little nook area. Very nice, very nice. And then as we come over here, Come up these stairs, the cast iron, very nice. And then we have this loft area here. Very nice loft. 
Um, little baby kitchen, little bar area here. Hang out. Very nice. Little chest area. Coming in here, media room. This is an amazing media room. Yeah, guys, this house is amazing. But I still got more rooms to show you. Guest room. This room is huge, you guys. For a guest room, it's not even the master. This is a huge room. And then, coming through here, we got double sink bathroom, of course. And we end up here in what they have pictured as another bedroom for the other kid. The whole upstairs is basically two bedrooms, the loft, they got this kitchen area up here, and a huge media room, very nice. So that's two bedrooms up here, and there was three bedrooms below, so this is a five bedroom house with the loft and a media room. Pretty nice. All right.